Hi guys, today we are going to discuss difference between this keyword and super keyword in Java. First, we will start with the, this keyword and we'll go through some couple of programs also. Okay, quickly start. Let me open my notepad file. Yeah, uh, we are going to discuss this versus super keyword in Java. First, we'll discuss what is this keyword. Okay, now first point we are going to discuss basically this is a okay this is a reserved keyword in java we have around uh, 52 keywords are available out of that this is one of the reserved keyword reserved keyword means there is a special meaning inside java library those are all keywords we can call as a reserved keyword whenever you are defining as a class class has a, some specific responsibility right whenever you are defining int data type it has a specific responsibility in the same way this we can say let me make it as a string codes so this is one of the keyword in java and it's keyword in java and we cannot use we cannot use as a identifier we cannot use as an identifier whenever you are defining a variable suppose if you want to define a variable int id equal to 10 like this is about a, a declaration of a integer variable now here you should not use in this way int id equal to 10 this is a kind of a invalid why because this is a reserved key that's why okay this is the first point and second point okay basically this is used this is used mainly for two purpose okay two responsibilities we have Okay, the first responsibility is this is used to refer current class object. Current class object means you are creating a bank object, student object. Okay, so if you want to represent, it is used to refer or I can say another name as a invoke or I can say as a initialize. The name is same, is used to refer current class object or initializing or invoking or referring that terminology is the same just whichever is the comfortable you want to use you can use any name this is the second point and there is another main point the main purpose first why we need this one okay one of the responsibility is to invoke current class object another responsibility is the main purpose of this keyword okay in java is to remove to remove the confusion between okay in order to remove the confusion between class variables and as well as method parameters that have same names this is the very very important guys i will be show you two java programs with the uh, for the second point one java program and the third point also one java program okay in another way okay in another way we can write the definition also or we can write it another way okay this keyword is used to avoid naming conflicts the uh, meaning is same guys third point and this point meaning is same see to avoid the naming conflicts in the method slash or constructors of your okay of your instance object that is the meaning okay of your instance slash object you can take any name basically whenever you are defining a constructor whenever you are using there is a naming conflicts is available in order to overcome this keyword is introduced in java okay let me show you a small java program then uh, then we can discuss about the super keyword hope everyone is clear what is a, this keyword now let me open a java program here okay let me open eclipse i'm using this ide guys if you want you can use from the command prompt you can run or you can use any eclipse ide okay let me create one package okay i want to go for this basics dot this dot this one just i'm creating one package name here finish okay here everyone knows how to create a class right 
let me create a class here okay uh, i'm giving uh, my class name as a student i need a main method just enable the main method here and finish it okay now here this is a class everyone aware how to create a default constructor and how to create a parameterized constructor in the last session we discussed about the constructor topic if you are not aware what is a constructor please go and watch my previous video so that you will get a better idea now here uh, i am defining i am defining two variables here okay let me take integer okay id and let me take another variable string name i take an two class level variables or non static variables or instance variables let me write here we can say as a class level variables or non static or instance variables the name is same guys for you can call any name okay now i am creating a constructor have a look here student class name and your constructor name should be same now let me take a different variables here see here integer sid string name string name here <coughs> okay now here i want to print i want to print sid okay now i want to print uh, yeah you can ignore this part now what i am doing here i created one constructor here now let me create a student object student s is equal to new student object here let me pass some triple one and let uh, let me pass some kind of a uh, name baskar just i created one student object here now whenever you are creating a student this is a parameterized constructor in your java program it needs to verify this constructor is available or not yes triple one is a integer baskar is a string now this triple one will be stored inside sid and baskar will be stored in the name now what i am doing if i want to retrieve the values just have a look here yes dot yes dot id and system dot out dot println yes dot name if you observe here just you are initializing the values here but you are not performing any operation here now if i try to run this application what will happen default values generated now see default value of your id is null and the name is null here if you take here as a int data type then default value of your integer is a 0 see 0 comma null now to resolve this issue okay till now i didn't discuss any really this keyword guys i am going to show you why we need a this keyword here i want to assign this local variable to this particular id how i can assign id equal to sid and name okay here let me make it as a yes name here name equal to yes name here now see now your control whenever you are running this application these two values are assigning to your non static variables class level variables whenever you are accessing your id okay you will get whatever you are passing triple one you will get a output i will look here run as java application now see you got your triple one and baskar but okay now here what is our this keyword now i am going to discuss see now the main purpose of this keyword in java is to remove the confusion between class variables and the method parameters that have same name or to avoid naming conflict in the method and the constructor of your instance object now what it is trying to say that now class level variables means this and uh, constructor method uh, constructor parameters means these names now whenever this both are same now have a look here name equal to name now what you are performing here your local variable assignment is doing with same see it is giving a warning to us if you see here this assignment to variable id has a no effect 
how compiler knows you are referring this id for this variable or local variable if you try to run this application now have a look your output see zero comma null in order to avoid this type of naming conflicts to refer current class variables or current class uh, uh, i can say constructor that's why we are using this keyword have a look here now this dot when you say this dot means it represents current class now you are referring class level attributes to this dot id now this id you are changing to uh, you are assigning the value to this class level variables now have a look here now run as java application see now you can able to access suppose these two names and here names are different then there is no issue you no need any this keyword concept itself not required whenever you have this class level variables and the method parameters or constructor parameters are same then only this keyword is came to the picture this is the okay a java program for this particular point hope everyone is clear if you are not clear leave your comments in the video i will try to resolve your issue okay so this is the concept of your this keyword and we have a another concept in the this keyword for third point just now i shown you one program now see this is used to refer or invoke or initialize current class object now how it is referring now let me take a another example as a bank i am taking another pojo class as a bank and let me create the main method here now this for the second point i am discussing here now here i need a variable name now what i am take let me take int account number just i taken one variable now i need a constructor now if you need a constructor how you can create a constructor public bank now let me take int int account number just i created one parameterized constructor here now let me make it system dot out dot printl and so here parameterized constructor here okay if you want you can print the value whatever you are sending just you can refer this part now even i am creating a default constructor see here bank this is called a default constructor hope you are already aware about what is a default constructor now default constructor here now if i create the okay parameterized constructor object have a look here i am calling uh, account number just i am some account number i am passing here okay you are invoking parameterized constructor the control it will be search my parameter constructor is available or not okay it is available if you run this application if you run this application you will get parameterized constructor your account number is displaying but you want to invoke current class constructor default constructor also if you want to invoke here you can use as a this keyword if you refer as a this keyword the control will reach 12th line to 7th line it will be execute and then it will be execute your parameterized constructor here now just i have a look here run as java application see this is called a default constructor and parameterized constructor always this keyword should be first line in the constructor this is also another point guys now this keyword should be first line in the constructor if you try to invoke in different place okay you will get a compilation issue see here copy now let me cut it here and paste it to here see now you are getting an exception constructor call must be first statement in a constructor hope you got this point now in the next session i will discuss about the super keyword and keep watching please subscribe our channel thank you guys